Hi everyone, you're just in time for another great story. Click that subscribe button for more. Ruby Valentine and the Sweet Surprise by Lori Friedman, illustrated by Lynn Avril. At the Heartland Railway Station, Ruby hugged Lovebird goodbye. She said she'd just be gone a day, but what she didn't say was why. Ruby Valentine boarded a train and took a trip into the city. When she returned to Heartland, she brought home a baby kitty. He was soft and sweet and fluffy, a precious little ball of fur. I'll name you Sweetie Pie, said Ruby, and the cat began to purr. Ruby loved her little Sweetie Pie. She taught him how to play. She set out bowls of milk. He grew bigger by the day. Cute and cuddly in his new home, he brought Ruby lots of joy. But not everyone was enamored with his little feline boy. Lovebird was not happy. This was more than she could bear. Lovebird missed the good old days when she and Ruby were a pair. Week after week, Lovebird watched the new apple of Ruby's eye. And she could not help but think that darn cat sweetie pie. Lovebird wanted to show Ruby she was her number one pet. She wanted to do something special, something Ruby would never forget. So as Ruby's favorite day grew close, Lovebird thought and plotted. She planned Valentine's to perfection. Her T's were crossed, her eyes were dotted. When Valentine's Day arrived, Ruby pulled her pets in tight. I'm going to town to get supplies. We'll celebrate tonight. As soon as Ruby left, Lovebird put her plan in action, but she had not anticipated Sweetie Pie's reaction. When Lovebird baked a cake and iced it to perfection, Sweetie Pie concocted a much fancier confection. When Lovebird hung streamers and hearts along the walls, Sweetie Pie flung confetti in every room and down the halls. And when Lovebird arranged flowers, in honor of the day, Sweetie Pie brought in a more elaborate bouquet. Lovebird looked around the house. Her plans had gone awry. You rotten cat, squawked Lovebird. Then she lunged at Sweetie Pie. When Ruby returned home, she was shocked at what she saw. A mess in every corner, her pets locked in a brawl. She dropped her bags of goodies and cried out in dismay. Can someone please explain what happened while I was away? Both pets talked at once, telling what they'd tried to do. That's when Ruby told them, There's room in my heart for two. Then she helped them clean and dust. They used mop and rag and broom. They scoured every corner. They tidied every room. They took a nice long bath. They scrubbed the day away. Ruby set out all her goodies for a Valentine's Buffet. Then Ruby said, surprise, there's still more to celebrate. We're going to watch a movie. You two get to stay up late. So Ruby, Lovebird, and Sweetie Pie all snuggled up in a chair. They had to squish together, but no one seemed to care. When the movie ended, both pets looked sad and down. Valentine's Day is over. They both said with a frown. Then Ruby hugged her pets and said, There's something we have plenty of. This Valentine's Day is over, but we'll never run out of love. Thanks for joining me today. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Click the bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of new books. See you soon!